Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you the computational fluid dynamics test that I did on this airfoil here. So I got this airfoil from this website, but I thought it'd be a good example to show. So just to go into what I did to actually run this CFD test. Uh, so on, on this um, tool I, I, I had to create an external flow box and then set you know my, my velocity and the pressure outlets and slip walls I also had to manually change like the because it would take a long time for it to plot everything so I had to decrease the number of iterations and reduce the mesh size but I think it worked out because we still got pretty decent results from this test so now actually looking at the airfoil itself we can look at the colors on it and how it corresponds to the pressure on the scale here so on the so as as we expect the leading edge of the aircraft has this red line which corresponds to a higher pressure we also see we also see the same on the turbine here and on the top here we see this bluish color it even goes dark over here as well and also a light lime green which right off the blue um but then on the underside while we still see it some blue it's more yellow and more and a darker shade of green which means generally speaking the pressure on the underside of the wing is greater than the pressure on the top and so you know this means the airfoil works and it does what it's meant to do which is generate lift um and you can we can also see here on the top actually the ailerons in the back and the 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 flaps have have a bit more pressure as well um so to go into the the effects the um the what what, she, what this means for the aircraft is as a result of the pressure on the underside of the wing being greater than the top air moves flows upwards onto this side of the wing on the tips especially but as the because the plane is also moving forward while it's doing this it creates this spiraling effect at the tips of the wings and we call this vortex drag and now vortex drag it's, it's it well it's drag and so it reduced the efficiency of a plane so one way a major company has chosen to deal with this is introduce something called winglets um, winglets and, and they say they say it themselves it makes more efficient aircraft so you can see it right here on what on their a330 the wings actually curve upwards and this reduces the vortex strike created by the pressure difference here and so yeah, to conclude, I've shown using the CFD test why uh, companies need to use things like winglets and w winglets to reduce the vortex drag on the end of things. And, and why when I go into designing a plane, if I if I ever want to, I'd want to use a CFD test, well mainly to prove to myself. Okay, so this airfoil generates so and so amount of lift. What does the curvature need to be on this? Uh, winglet for it to make it for it to be more efficient. Obviously, that requires a lot of mathematical calculations, but you get my point. So yeah, that's pretty much it.